The Flying Legends of Victory Tour has officially landed here in Pittsburgh. The tour features two World War II bombers that flew missions during the war. These planes are going to be at the Allegheny County Airport for the next week for people to not only tour, but actually go <laughs> flying in as Chris DeRose shows us. Two giant pieces of American history have just landed at the Allegheny County Airport, and these planes have been flying for over 80 years. On Monday morning, the Flying Legends of Victory Tour from the Arizona Commemorative Air Force Museum touched down here in Pittsburgh. This 15-stop city tour is meant to give people both locally and around the country just a taste of what life was like on board these bombers in the 1940s. The 250-caliber machine guns on each side of its head. This tour features two planes, both of which saw action during the war. The B-17 Sentimental Journey flew against the Japanese in the Pacific, and the B-25 Made in the Shade flew against Hitler and Mussolini in the Mediterranean. Each plane's Bombay doors are filled with the signatures of people who were connected to these aircraft in some way. Uh, right here, this is uh, the lady I was mentioning, Rosie the Riveter. The plane was actually built in Kansas City. She worked in the Kansas City plant. Both planes will be available for tours Tuesday through Sunday, with tour tickets starting at $15 a person. Flights on these planes will be happening Friday through Sunday and start at $375 for the B-25 and $475 for the B-17. Space on both planes is limited and some flights are already sold out. It's a great opportunity to show these airplanes to the, to the younger generation, so to speak, and what we really want to do is honor the services of those that generation, but also honor the people who serve, have served, and are serving currently. For more information on how you can come out this week and see these incredible aircraft, check out this story at KDKA.com. For now, reporting at the Allegheny County Airport, Chris DeRose, KDKA TV News.